testing. All right. Let's get this set up here. Alrighty, there we go. Looks like we have Jupiter in focus. That was done with the batten off mask. That comes equipped in the end of the dust cap of this uh, telescope. Now tonight, what I've done a little bit differently is uh, I took that reducer flattener off so we get a little bit more reach, about a 90 millimeters more or so. And I just want to try something. Yeah, I had a feeling this would not get it in very well. But I'm using the 30x, so or 420 millimeters times 30, whatever that is, and it's not going to come in very good. Still, I wanted to give it a shot. Still cool. Can actually see the bands on there. <laughs> I could try to get a clip, but I'm sure it's not going to come out very well. All right, like I said, I just wanted to test it out. Um. All right, so there we go at 420 millimeters, but we are at the uh, 1.6x crop of the camera. And then, this is the true 420 times 5, whatever that is, about 2100. Now the crop mode does not affect the magnify zoom of the camera. And from there we go to the 30x, so 420 times 30, whatever that is. It's a lot, but it <laughs> suffers great in quality. That's all right. I'm just out here playing around, testing, as usual. <laughs> that's quite cool. We're at 30x, and we can see uh, all four moons are over to the right, and there's something off there to the left about the uh, 7 o'clock position. I hope it shows up in the video. That's quite cool might be one of the other moon planets that are around uh, Jupiter. I don't know. And there we go, just to make sure we have a 5x copy there. <laughs> All right, from here we're going to try for Saturn. Let's see if we can get in the general area. There it is. Cool. That was one of my better alignments. <laughs> Lovely. Ah, looks like we have Titan at the 12 noon position. <laughs> cool. And as usual, an attempt to get Mars, or not Mars, but Saturn in. We can see the rings. Um, let me see, we're at uh, 30x. I'll get a clip, but like I said before, it's not going to be worth it, I'm sure. It won't come out very well. And that's okay. It's still cool that we can see it. have an airplane going overhead, <laughs> as we can hear. Yeah, this lens is not meant to zoom in like this. <laughs> as we see, the quality suffers, but you know me. <laughs> I'm going to push things to the limit. The camera gives me 5 and 30x. Well, I'll take it every so often. Now I'm going to have to move us so we can get a look at our orange brother Mars over here in the 
southeast sky. All right, there it is. And we're at 5x and 30. Now I messed my alignment up, so, whoops. All right, that might have fixed it a bit. And an overexposed Mars. I could try to get it in. Yeah, I think it's still a bit too bright and, well, as I said like three times already, <laughs> this setup is not meant to do what I'm doing. There we go. I just wanted to double check the focus. That is quite cool with those rainbow colors. <laughs> All right. And there we go. An overexposed Mars. Still rising in the east-southeast sky. Now Saturn and Jupiter, they're getting lower and lower, so there's so much more atmosphere to cut through and they're not going to come in very well anymore when you zoom in. Not until next year. Whoa! Did you see that? Wow. I'm looking up at the sky. There is nothing. I don't know what flew past so quickly underneath Mars. <laughs> well, that was quite cool. Yeah, there's no flashing lights up there or solid light. It's um, 6.45 p.m. So we will check Sky Safari Pro for any huge satellites. <laughs> but it wasn't a regular aircraft, that's for sure. Anyway, that's quite funny to have yet another flyby over by Mars. I think it's the uh, third odd one I've had within the last month. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, Mars is up pretty high. I'm guessing about, I don't know, 35, 40 degrees above the horizon, which is pretty good for what we've been getting for Jupiter and Saturn, about 20 degrees and lower. So yeah, when you have so much more atmosphere to cut through, it's uh, not going to be good viewing. But I'm mesmerized by this uh, <laughs> overexposed Mars here. That is so cool. Anyway, that's enough for now. And like I said, I'm just out here playing, testing, all that good stuff with our new refractor telescope. The William Optics GT71. So we should be at f5.9 now for the exposure since I took the reducer flattener off. And this is an APO triplet. And once again, don't ask me what all this stuff means. I <laughs> Go to the Cloudy Nights Forum. They're so knowledgeable and informative about so many types of gear. Anyway. Let's wrap this up here. I'm gonna wave goodbye. It's now 6.49 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. Take care of yourselves and be safe wherever you are. Bye now. Oh, I have so many leaves here. I already mowed them once. <laughs> or twice. Oh joy.